Hi guys, this is TC3 Wins here with a look over of the Wii based quad. This quad uses a an Adreno microprocessor paired with the components from a Wii Nunchuck and a Wii Motion Plus. It is mounted on a Vic 20 frame, which is a little larger and stronger than the 330X frame made by Gowie. I will also have to add that the Wii system is much more stable than the 330X system. This quad also uses four Hobby King 18 amp speed controls paired to four C2830 Turnigy motors rated at 1050 kilovolts. Uses also a 2200 three cell LiPo. You can go larger if you wish. The frame can definitely handle it. Plus, will give you longer flight times. At the moment, I'm getting about six to eight minutes of flight time. The props are four 10 inch, two that rotate normal, two that rotate in reverse. The frame also has adjustable landing gear as you can see here has four different mounting positions and on mine here you can see I added some LEDs which I power by a second battery pack mounted on the top frame which I have also added the top frame serves several purposes one which you can uh, mount batteries, cameras, whichever you choose. Also, in the event of a crash, the top plate protects the board components, which you see here. See, on the top plate, you have your Wii Motion Plus, your Adreno Trip, and underneath it, you have your Nunchuck component, which gives the quad auto level capabilities. We will uh, get into the components like that and programming at a later date as I will make another video showing everyone how to program the quad. As you can also see here I went ahead and changed the battery connector out to a Dean style connector. It originally came with a T60. It's all pretty much personal preference on your connector all my batteries use Dean so I figured I'd switch it and right above that you can see I added a lipo monitor as with the speed controls when you set them up you do away with the low voltage cutoff so you need to add a lipo monitor and I recommend this for anybody flying any quad because you don't want to run the battery too low you will uh, lessen the life of the battery by doing that and you can pretty much get lipo monitors anywhere they range anywhere from two dollars on up but they will save your batteries get a couple better shots here of the components As you can see underneath, we got the Velcro. That's where you mount your main battery. And you can see on top here, I got my connector for my light, my LEDs. Eventually, I'll add a receiver control switch. On my quad, I'm also using a Futaba radio. Most of you will be using a Spectrum. Again, it's personal preference on how you want to fly and what radio gear you use. And the front of the quad uses a little orange ball for orientation. Because as the higher you go up, the smaller it gets. 
the harder it is to see and figure which way you're going with the quad, whether you're coming or going, it definitely helps. Also, it looks cool at night when I turn on the LEDs, it makes it glow. And that is my look over of the Wii Base Quad. Happy flying, guys.